A walk-in clinic in downtown Steubenville is turning the technological corner by offering telehealth services to clients from the Family Recovery Center. This is where a physician can see a patient in other offices to serve them through a computer screen, but things go far beyond that as they're taking strides to improve care. New Signs' Alex Taylor joins us live now from our WTOV9 Rehab to Reset phone bank with more. Hey, Rich and Kate, we're here. Our phone bank is up and running. We've had several calls already, and these are the individuals here from the Family Recovery Center, and we want to give you a look inside what they do. This is my friend Carl here. He runs the men's house at Family Recovery. You'll see him inside our story. Let's take a look. I always remember the last day I got high, because if I forget that, I haven't had it yet. You know, um, I don't want to go back to where I was. Carl Campbell and the near 80 other employees at Family Recovery take their job seriously and feel lucky to go to work each day. But for Carl, the story started with a successful attempt to manage his own addiction. I want everybody to get this. You know, I'm a recovering addict myself, you know, so I want everybody to be able to recover. At the Family Recovery Center in downtown Steubenville, they offer a wide range of recovery options. Tired of people dying. Over the past year, they've served 218 clients just for opioid-related services. Too many people have died from this disease. It's amazing to me. Uh, I live in Boardman, Ohio, and to come down here and see this many patients who are suffering with drug addiction, it's amazing. It, it does seem to occur in pockets uh, because these drug addicted patients often mingle together or co cohabitate and coexist. Tracy Neuendorf is the medical assisted treatment director, a program that's seen steady growth over the last 10 months. From 21 clients in August of 2018 to its current 61 patients. Uh, unfortunately here in Steubenville it's quite a problem and so obviously we're trying to bring the treatment programs to the patients. A treatment program that yields significant Sorry, success. Fine. Of their current 61 patients, 26.2% of them have at least 90 days of sobriety. 18% have reached one year of sobriety, and only three patients have left the program in the last month and never returned despite staff efforts. Here we are, we work together as a team. So we have a very good team connection. They are able to treat patients for a wide variety of issues, not only addiction therapies. Currently, their center has 380 clients coming in for anything from trauma counseling, clean needle initiatives, or traditional recovery services. We also have a number of safe houses which help women and men to find shelter if indeed they can't find a place to live. Uh, and that's often a problem for these patients. Campbell currently has 10 men living in his safe house. Some have been there for close to a year, managing their disease. So I'm able to give a little back every day to help somebody, you know, maybe save somebody's life. And the phone lines are open right now. The number is on your screen. If you need somebody just to even talk to and listen, we've had family members call just to share their experiences with these specialists who have all the resources that you could possibly need. So feel free to give them a call. Reporting live from our phone bank, Alex Taylor, News 9 Live at 5. Alex, thanks. And tomorrow, the last installment of Rehab to Reset, we get a look inside an inpatient rehab facility in Carroll County.